Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to stop itchy feet. I'll be going over the easiest methods to stop your itchy feet and get rid of that itching, scratchy feeling. Let's get right into the video. I know that this isn't my foot, this is my shoe, but I'm going to be using this for a demonstration. I tried getting my foot up here beside my head. I'm not that flexible, so you're going to have to bear with me as I use my shoe. I'm trying to film this in the car, and like I said, I couldn't get my foot over here, so please bear with me. I used to have itchy feet, and these are some of the things that I did to get rid of my itchy feet, and hopefully they can work for you as well. Number one. One, clean your feet thoroughly with soap and water and scrub your feet with the soap. You see, when you clean your feet, you're getting rid of anything excess on the feet. Anything excess on your feet, because you're walking on them, will cause some friction, will cause them to get itchy, will cause you to feel the urge to scratch them. So clean your feet thoroughly with soap and water. Make sure you're doing this every day. I recommend that you shower every day, but some people don't shower every day. And listen, that's fine. No judgment for you. Totally okay. But make sure you clean your feet every day, at least at the bare minimum. Scrub your feet thoroughly with soap and water. Also, these are my Clark's Originals Desert Boot Boots. I love these. These have helped me greatly with my itchy feet, and I'll tell you exactly why as I go throughout the video, okay? Um, you know, there, there's, there's many different shoes that'll help with your itchy feet, but these are good, and I'll tell you why I, I sort of modified them to help with my itchy feet. Number two, this is where these come into play. Wear shoes with ventilation. Now, I know what you're thinking. These shoes don't have any ventilation. There's no ventilation, but I wear them very loosely. I can slide my foot right in here, okay? So like I said, these are Clark's Originals Desert Boot, okay? Um, they're great boots, but really you can do this with any type of shoe. I wear them very loosely, so the air actually goes into the back. You can see because of their shape that I wear them very loosely. The air ends up going into the back and airing out my feet, so my socks and my feet are not nearly as sweaty as they could be. There's also a very loose tongue flap, which lets air in through here on the sides. Because of the air ventilation like that, Essentially, my feet aren't as sweaty, which causes me to be less itchy. If you have shoes with the mesh toe area, those are great too, but it's in the winter when I'm filming this, as you can tell by the snow over there. And um, because it's winter, half I can't wear mesh toed shoes. I have to wear boots, but this is the way to get ventilation. If you're wearing a mesh toe shoe, you probably won't have to do this, but you wanna wear shoes with ventilation, and there's ways to achieve this no matter what the season is. Remember that, okay? Number three. Change your socks throughout the day if they're sweaty. If you work a sweaty job where your socks are sweaty, you wanna change them throughout the day. Right now, my socks are a little bit sweaty. They're a tad bit sweaty. So I'm gonna change them now that I'm in my car. I always will have between five and 10 spare pairs of socks in the car. And if I ever notice that my socks are sweaty, I just swap them out. It literally takes 10 seconds for me to change my socks and my feet, it, it just avoids the itch. You see, when you're sweaty, your feet get irritated. That causes them to feel itchy. So with that being said, change your socks um, if they're sweaty, like I said. And then literally like the amount of extra laundry that I do every week, just for the extra socks that I use is extremely minimal. It's maybe like a fifth of a full load of laundry extra that I do. So really I just end up tossing the socks in with other loads of laundry. And then I end up being able to avoid itchy feet um, basically for without any extra cost because I'm just throwing them in with extra laundry. Not even the monetary, without any extra monetary cost, but without any extra time cost. I'm not doing anything extra other than changing my socks in which I usually come to my car, you know, once or twice a day anyways. Um, and at home, you know, cause when I'm at work, I'll come to my car once or twice at lunch, in the morning, after school, whatever the case is, because I'm a full-time teacher. Um, so I'll come to my car in the morning, obviously, because I'm in my car at lunch. I'll probably come out to my car, change my socks. And after school, I might change my socks again. We'll see after work. Um, yeah, so change your socks when they get sweaty. Number four, this went on a little bit too long, um, just because I thought it would be a fast video. So I'm going to speed it up. Number four, dry your feet before putting on each new pair of socks. So you want to get a towel and dry your feet before you put a new pair of socks on. What I do is I just leave my feet without socks on for like a minute or two and they dry off. Um, so right now my, my feet, uh, one of my feet, because I only have one sock off, one of my feet, I'll take the other one off in a moment, one of my feet is, is drying off and it's almost done and it's been without the sock for four minutes, it's pretty much fully dry. So dry your feet before you put your new pair of socks on or else you're gonna get your new pair of socks sweaty right away. Number five, moisturize your feet. Um, in the morning, moisturize your feet after you're done taking a shower or washing your feet. Dry feet 
cause dry skin, which causes irritation, which causes itchiness. So you want to moisturize your feet that prevents the itchiness from happening. So by moisturizing your feet, you can avoid itchy feet because you won't get that irritation. Any kind of moisturizer works. I use my hand cream on my feet. I'm not recommending that, but it really doesn't matter. Like my hand cream, I use my hand cream on my hands. I use it on my face. I use it on my feet. I use it on my, my, my head sometimes. Um, it all depends. Sometimes on my, most of the time on my head, I'll use like a sunscreen cream, like an SPF protected cream. But if I'm not going outside, if I know I'm going to be inside the whole day, then I'll just use my hand cream on my feet, my hands, my, my head, my cheek. You know, that's my choice, but use some sort of cream on your feet. Okay. Oh, it's, it's getting hot in here now. It's winter, but the sun is just is just heating it up in here. I gotta gotta finish this video and get out there into the chilliness before my feet start sweating again. Lastly, is number six, which is probably the most important thing. Look for a potential underlying reason why uh, your feet are itchy. Sometimes your feet are itchy because you haven't addressed the things that I said. Your feet might be dirty. They might have dry skin. You might be wearing sweaty socks. That's normal. But if you did everything that I said and your feet are still itchy, then there might be another reason why they're itchy, right? You might have like a chronic condition of dry skin. There are, there are many reasons. I'm not going to go into all the potential reasons because there are probably thousands. But if you've done what I said and it fixes your problem, then it's probably just because you needed to dry your feet, put on new socks, uh, ventilate your shoes, moisturize your feet, scrub your feet with soap every day. Those are basically the five previous reasons. If those don't fix the problem, then there might be another reason, which is the sixth way, which is look into it if there's another reason. You want to just do your own research. Uh, go speak to a medical professional and see if there's maybe another way. Go speak to someone who knows their stuff about feet, um, a medical person that knows their stuff about feet, and see if there might be another reason why your feet are still itchy even after trying all these things. That's it. Do your research and hopefully you can figure it out. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.